Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video. And today I decided to bring this video where I'm going to be showing you guys really quickly how to implement a functionality where you have kind of like a, a light mode and a dark mode inside of a react application. So in my opinion, this is way simpler than a lot of people imagine it is. Um, so I thought it would be a quick, a good quick video for me to make for you guys. So I have this demo over here of basically what we're going to be building. Um, we're not going to be building the UI, like the stuff related to like this form over here. This is just a, a random React website that I found on CodePen. I'll leave the link for it in the description if you want to. None of this is functional, but um, it's just a some sort of UI template that I'll show you guys how to easily toggle between being on light mode and then being on dark mode. So for example, I'm here writing something, I'll put a uh, page attack as the username. And when it turned into dark mode, you see that all of the elements over here kind of change um, to more to a more dark tone. Uh, you see this in many different websites. I know YouTube, Google, all of those websites have something like this. Um, it doesn't have to be the same color scheme as I'm using over here. You can search online different color schemes. Um, the, the main purpose of this video is just focusing on the functionality itself. So with that in mind, let's get into the video. Okay, everyone. So in order to make this video, I want to actually um, show you guys how to implement this on an already existent website. And the reason for that is because um, I think a lot of you guys who, are, who want to implement this feature already have some sort of project in mind or some sort of project or website that they, you're, you've been coding, and you just want to add this feature to your project. Um, but if you don't, uh, if you are creating from scratch, it should be similar. So um, I wouldn't mind that much about it. Um, but as you can see, we already have this little website, which as I mentioned, I got from from a code pen, which I'm going to be linking in the description, together with all of the code in this video. Um, and the code pen basically generates this application over here, which is just a form. It's pretty simple. If you go over here, um, our react application starts with an app component, which just calls a form component. And the form component is just a simple form um, with like a, imp a username input, a password input, um, like a forgot password text over here. It's pretty simple. Nothing is functional because it's not the point of the video. The point of the video is just showing how to change the UI based on if you're on light mode or on dark mode. So one thing you might have noticed is that I have this thing called light over here. Now this is an ID. And one, the way I like to do this light mode and dark mode functionality with pure react not using any libraries is by actually creating an ID, or you can use a class as well, but I'm going to use an ID on the higher uh, most uh, div inside of your application. So this one will be our app div over here, every div inside of this will be no every div in our application will basically exist inside of this. Now the reason for that is because we want to impact all of the, the website at once based on a single comp a single element, right? So we're going to style it based like this. Right now we are on light mode. But if we wanted to go to dark, we could just change this to dark, right? Um, but how exactly would we um, make it so that when we click on a toggle, something like that happens? Well, let's first um, just start setting up how the project will look like. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to create some sort of context, um, because I'm going to be using the context API in this video, um, where it will allow us to pass um, the functionality of switching and toggling throughout your whole application. Not only that, but you can also pass in wh which mode you're in, like a state, uh, determining which mode you're, you're currently in. And you can access that everywhere in your app. And we do that by using the context API. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to say, export const theme context, we're going to call it theme context. And we're going to create a context like this. Now, if you don't know uh, what the context API is, I do have a video about it really quick, a 15 minute video. Um, and if you want to check it out, you can check it out. Um, it's really important. So I would, I would recommend watching that first. But um, in order to do this, we need to cr import um, the create context from react like this. And then um, we created our theme context, which actually won't be light initially, it will start as no. So we'll grab this context, and we'll just wrap everything inside of here around with um, the provider, right? This is what you usually do with uh, the context API. And inside of here, this is where all of our application will exist. And the reason for that is because inside of this theme context, we're gonna pass in a state called theme. 
and this state will determine which mode we're in. So it will basically be either a, a string saying light or a string saying dark. Depending on which one it is at the moment, will determine if the website is on light mode or dark mode. So in order to pass this over here, we can technically just give a value to this and just pass both the, the theme and the set theme function. And everywhere in our website, we could technically change this to, to determine which theme we're in. But instead of that, I'm going to actually create a function over here called toggle theme. And we're just going to pass this function instead of both the theme and the set theme. Um, so that whenever we want to change the theme, uh, change from dark mode to light mode or from light mode to dark mode, we just call this toggle theme function and it should work. So I'm going to say set theme, I'll grab the current theme, like this. And I'll say that uh, I basically want to make um, the current theme be equal to um, the, the current if it is light. So we're, we're going to use some conditional uh, operations over here, we're going to say, if the current theme is light, then I want to set the current theme to dark. If it is dark, so if it's not light, we'll set it to light. Um, this logic over here is just toggling between one another, depending on which it is right now. And instead of passing both the theme and the set theme, we can now technically just pass a toggle theme. And whenever we call this function in any of the components inside of here, um, it will work perfectly for us. Now, the reason why I set this up, and I won't be using this is just to, to point out that if you want to do something with the context API, if you want to access this somewhere else inside of your code, you would do it this way. So now that we created our theme state, and we kind of have a function which can toggle between one another, we want to start implementing how will the CSS change based on the state? Well, if you've used um, react before, you know that you can technically like, just add a style tag over here, which allows you to easily add CSS. Um, but depending on some sort of condition or some state, but this is not what we're going to be doing, because you want to impact a lot of different elements at once. And by doing this, you would have to um, add a style tag to each element individually, or just uh, not have really customizable control over your styling, right? Now, the way I like to do this is, as I mentioned, I'll have this ID, which it won't be just light, it will actually be whatever theme we are in right now. And when we open our CSS, you'll see that I implemented this little um, statement over here, which basically says if the element with ID light um, exists, then set the background color to the, the light version. But if it is dark, then set the color to the dark version. So we're technically going to write our CSS for whatever elements we want to change twice. And I know that's a good amount of work, especially if your website is big. But um, you can make that easier if you use reusable components, which is what a lot of people do. Um, and with the time, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. I'll show you guys exactly how we do for a lot of elements. But the most basic one is just changing this background over here. You can see that currently, we initialize our state um, as light, right? So you can see it starts as light. But if we set it to dark, you'll see that this ID will change from light to dark, it will go to dark, as you can see over here. Now, I want to point out that it does look ugly because it's changing all of it to dark, which is not what we want. And this is where um, we start doing more of the customizable stuff. So what do I mean by that? Well, we have the background white, right? But we want to make this little card over here be some sort of um, color when it's dark, right? So I'll set this equal to dark initially like this. And what we can do to make this dark is we can come over here and just search for what element is representing this piece over here. So we know that in our form over here, this is the, uh, the element with the class name main. So main represents this little box over here. So what we do is we come to our CSS, we go to the main part over here, uh, which is um, right over here, we say main, right? And right below it, we just say hashtag light, like this, and we access the main class, right? So whatever styling I put inside of here will be the styling for the main element um, when it's in light mode. So I can say something like um, the background color when it's uh, in light mode, it will be hashtag FFF, which is white. Um, but if I want to make it on dark mode, which is what we need right now, because um, it's, it's not fitting well in dark mode, we need to add some styling to it, we'll just change this to dark. And we'll say 
that the background color will be something like this over here. Um, this is the background color that I put in the beginning of the video. And you see that it actually um, fills out this specific part. Now we can change it again back to to light. And you'll see that it will be back to how it was before. Now, I hate having to switch back and forth. So I'm going to implement the toggling functionality real quick. But I just want to point out that the, the main idea of switching and adding the styles for each of the modes is basically done. All you do now is you go for each HTML element that you want to specifically target some sort of color, and you add the the mode first, and then the element. The reason why this works is because the mode will be the uppermost, like the highest level div inside of your CSS. So this is kind of the idea. Now to add the switch, what we're going to do is the following, we're going to first install a package called um, react switch. Now you can create your switch however you want. It's like a toggling switch. Um, I like using this library. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, you just say react switch like this, and press enter. If you're using npm, you can use npm install react switch. Now I already installed so I'm going to remove this. And this library is it's pretty cool. It basically just gives you a very simple switch. Now to get the switch, we're just going to come over here at the top, say import react switch from the react switch library, then copy this, this is just a component. So I'm going to put this right inside of the the main div or the, the app div over here right below the form, um, you can put it wherever you want your website, a lot of people like to put it up on the nav bar, but you can see um, it is inside of here, right, it looks pretty nice. And it you can toggle around it. Um, although right now it's not doing anything. So it's kind of glitching, um, because we haven't put any functionalities to it yet. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to add some styling to this um, switch. So I'm just going to put this over here, and say that the class name is um, probably like switch like this, and save this. Now the reason why I'm adding the styling is because I actually already did a styling for this. As you can see over here, um, I just centered it. And I found that it would look good if I did. Um, but <laughs> it's just, it doesn't matter. It depends on what you're doing on your website. Now what we have to do is we'll come over here to our switch, we'll give an on change to it. And what we're going to say is whenever you toggle the switch, we're going to call the toggle theme um, function. And we also need to pass a default checked uh, value. So when the toggle switch is checked, it just means that um, the theme is equal to dark. Now, if it's unchecked, it will be the opposite. So it's not equal to dark. Now, what we can do is you can see that by default, because we made the, the theme start as, as dark, it will be set to checked. But if I toggle it, it will become light and I can keep toggling and it will keep changing. Now we only edited two different elements inside of our page, the background and this one over here, right? But you can see it's already working, it's already fitting with the correct um, styling. One thing I want to do as well is just add a little label over here, which will say something like, um, depending on whether or not it is, um, which mode it is, it will show um, the name of the modes. So for example, we'll say that um, if the theme is equal to light, then we're going to display a label um, saying light mode, else we'll say dark mode. And you can see that as I toggle it, it will keep changing this to light to dark, light to dark, right? Now, I don't like the color of this, because on dark, it becomes dark. And on light, it becomes it's still it's good on light, but I want it to become white, when is dark. So how can we do something like this? Well, you just follow the same procedure I mentioned previously, you go to your CSS, you come down, and you add something like this. Um, I already obviously wrote this code, but you just add light, and add the the color of when it's light, and dark, and you add the color of when it's uh, dark. So it perfectly matches now. Now I'm going to add the code, the CSS for all of the other styling over here, and just go step by step. If you're interested, it's basically done the video because the the idea behind it I already shown. So um, I'm just going to go over all of the final edits that I need to make to make it look like what it looked in the beginning. Okay, everyone. And as you can see, now it's working exactly how it was in the beginning of the video. Um, the only CSS I added was this over here. So I went through every single piece that I needed to to add to fix the the, the lighting. So for example, the sign page over here, um, the problem was that this text 
was this color even when it was dark, which is bad because it, it, it blends in pretty badly if it's not white. So what I did was I just came to the sign the sign element and I just added a light and dark um, CSS for each of it. So you do this for all of them. I did the same thing for um, the little texts over here because it is white. Um, it keeps changing, right? It becomes a different color. And you can see I did this by just adding a dark functionality and a light functionality for both the username and the password. Now, this is basically it. Again, the code for this will be in the description. This is kind of a different format of a video. I'm, I'm trying it out because um, I basically didn't write a lot of code in this video, I wrote the code beforehand. But I try to explain it this way, because I felt like it would be the best way that I would understand if I was trying to learn this topic. If you like the video, leave a like down below and comment which one to see next. Subscribe because I'm posting twice a week and I would massively appreciate it. And yeah, that's basically it. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I see you guys next time.